Well, hello, my name's Adam. Welcome to Rare Classic Cars. Here's a fun one that I'm just getting out for the season. This is a 1973 Ford LTD Coupe. And it's an A-code LTD, which means that it has the 460 cubic inch engine, which for 1973, you can imagine, was super rare. The first OPEC embargo had not yet hit until late 1973. But already, only about 5,000 of these LTD Brome Coupes had the 460 in 1973. This one has 47,000 miles. And it's got some unique options. In addition to the 460, it does have the bumper protection group. You can see with the bumper guards and the rub strip in the bumper. It does have the body side molding, no appearance protection group or door edge guards does have cornering lights, air conditioning, no power windows or power locks though, AM FM radio, 460. It also has the firm ride and handling package. So whomever ordered this wanted a somewhat sporty car, if you want to call an LTD Brom a sporty car. But they ordered the big engine and they ordered the heavy duty suspension, which completely transforms this from the typical Ford mushy ride that often resulted. This is the first year of the five mile an hour bumper standard in the front and two and a half in the rear. So you can see the bumper is pretty big, but in 74, it pushes out a little bit more. And up here, you get the big bumper with the rubber flubber piece in between. But if you watch Streets of San Francisco or the 70s cop car TV shows, this was something that you saw quite frequently. Oh, and this car also has the optional wheel discs, the so-called blue rat wheel discs. And you can see why some people call it that. I think those are Griffins in the center. I found this car in Wisconsin, in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Probably about two or three years ago, it was on a dealer lot. Somebody had traded it in. Actually, that person at some point emailed me, and I since lost their contact information. If you're watching this, feel free to email me at rareclassiccars at yahoo.com. But somebody traded it in in Waukesha, Wisconsin, on, I think, a new vehicle, because this was sitting on the Ford dealer lot, believe it or not. And it was just sitting there in the middle of the cold, lonely and they were asking i think ten thousand dollars for it to start which three years ago was a lot of money for this car and it was winter and the car had an aftermarket air cleaner on it and the choke wasn't hooked up so it really it, it barely i don't even think it started i went to go see it when it was 20 degrees outside and they couldn't get it started Thankfully, in the trunk were all the original components, the stock air cleaner, the choke heat tubes, and everything. And I asked the dealership salesperson, can I reassemble this? Do you mind? Because I obviously wanted to hear it run before I bought it. And she said, yeah, go ahead, have at it. So I got it running, ran beautifully with all the stock things reattached, came back to the dealership. Of course, I returned it back to its form where it didn't run. And they asked me what I would offer for it. And I told them $6,500. And that I was gonna be the only person who was gonna make an offer on this car between now and springtime, because it didn't even run. So they hemmed and hawed. And I got a phone call maybe two weeks later, and they asked if I would take eight for it. I said, no, waited another two or three weeks. And they said, if you give us $6,800, it's yours. So that's what I ended up paying for the car. And it's, I mean, just in phenomenal shape. This car was bought and sold in North Carolina. So there is not an ounce of rust anywhere. It's one of my cleanest original cars. And you can see from the interior that I was just showing that the interior is spotless. I mean, there's really not a flaw in it. You have the high back seats that were standard in the LTD Brome. This doesn't have the split bench, but so what? You got a really comfy padded armrest. Nice roomy back seat. Great quality cloth on these. 
And the dash is perfect, no cracks, nothing. Steering wheel's perfect. Carpets are perfect. I mean, somebody really loved this car. I suspect they traded it in because they were tired of having drivability issues, but I don't really know. When I bought it, like I said, it didn't start, it didn't run very well. The choke was not hooked up properly. So it really didn't run well until it was warmed up. Now it runs just fine. You can see how clean this thing is under the hood even. So like I said, it has all the stock elements. It is missing this piece here. I guess it was taken out whenever somebody put that aftermarket air cleaner on. So if somebody's got that snorkel and you'd like to sell it, email me. But otherwise, everything under here is stock. And somebody did upgrade to a, I'll call it an upgrade, to a Petronics pointsless ignition system, which so far has been reliable, but all the points were in the trunk too, so I can convert it back, and that's super easy. I've left it for now. Did have to put a new master cylinder on it. I did have to also rebuild the carburetor. It actually was a rebuilt carburetor, but it wasn't quite right. So I've done that. You see it even has some the original factory chalk marks still. I mean, whomever owned this car really just loved it. Original radiator hose, I've of course changed the coolant and the thermostat and everything. But this hose is not bulging anywhere. It's still robust, so I keep it. It's not like I drive this car every day. I could easily replace it, but I think it's kind of cool when you pop the hood. Did have to put a new AC compressor on. Also had to evacuate the entire AC system, flush it because the desiccant had let loose in it and was flowing throughout the system. So that was not good. I did put factory style dual exhaust on it. These came standard from the factory with just a single exhaust. But I had my exhaust shop put the factory style duals and yes, these tailpipes on these cars do terminate well ahead of the bumper. That's just how they are. Unfortunately, the exhaust shop I use no longer does the work, which is a big bummer to me because the guy who used to bend these pipes custom for me, he just, uh, his body couldn't take it anymore. He was getting up in age and he had to retire. I think this might be the last setup he did for me. But the car runs great. Plenty of power. Yes, it's a smog down. 460, it does have the retarded cam gear. And like all my cars, starts right up. It's on fast idle, so running a bit fast. Nice little throaty growl back here. Gotta love the sound of a big block in the morning. And Take the key buzzer off. Like I said, you can see the AM FM radio. 73, they went to this common IP across the Fords and Mercury's. Only year for the white index pointer on the speedometer as well as the shift indicator and the fuel gauge. Oh, I did also have to put a new fuel sender in it. Actually, the float was just sinking. It was reading E all the time. So if you got one of these Fords, and your gauge reads E all the time, chances are the float is just bad. And you can buy the float alone. Very easy to take the sender out. These gas tanks are vertical. And so long as you don't have much fuel in the tank, you just knock the ring out, put a new sender in, put it back in. Probably 45 minute job. So we'll take it for a drive here in a bit. Of course, it starts raining just as I want to film this. But I mean, look at the carpet here. 
Everything is just in great condition. Top pad is great. Great car to drive. Very enjoyable. So stay tuned for Ride and Drive and for more. Thanks for watching this video highlighting the 1973 LTD Brougham Coupe. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment as that helps the YouTube algorithm serve it up to more viewers like you. And if you really liked it, feel free to hit the super thanks button, which is at the bottom right of your video viewer, the heart shape with the dollar sign in it. Until next time, be sure to check out the video thumbnails at the bottom left and right for some video suggestions for you. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit the circular icon of the 67 Buick Riviera at the top left. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.